So along with so many other people, I suffer from anxiety and I've been thinking a lot about it and sort of why I have it and is it part of my illness, you know, that sort of thing. Uh, I suffer from bipolar as well and it doesn't feel like the same thing. <laughs> like when I was told I was bipolar, it all made sense, like the moods and how it met changes and how I felt about things and just everything it just like it made sense and I can feel it like I feel the different things in me but anxiety is like it's like something else and um, I was thinking oh it hasn't been that long you know it's only been a couple of years but it has been quite a few years now I've been living with anxiety and it's just been getting worse and worse and worse to the point like it's every day I, f I, I am anxious and it's loop like goes up and down as to the strength of the anxiety but I think fucking I don't want to live with this forever and some people have said oh well you know it's just something that you're probably just gonna have to live with for the rest of your life you just have to get used to it and find ways to make it work with your life but fuck that no nah. about a month ago I had a little bit of time where the anxiety just went and I can't tell you how amazing it felt. I was I felt so happy and like a big release had gone and it was just amazing. <laughs> I'd forgotten what it was like to not have anxiety and not feel anxious all the time and of course it didn't last very long. It came back after a few weeks but it made me really think, fuck, I don't want this forever. <laughs> and there must be ways to to stop it, to get rid of it. And it does make you wonder why, why am I anxious? What is it? Do I have to live with this for the rest of my life? No, I've got to find ways to change it, to get rid of it. Because it's not fucking funny. I mean, it just, it's just not funny. 